Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and today I've got a quick little tutorial for you. Someone asked me this a uh, while ago, how do I uh, save my files in Illustrator for After Effects? So here we are in Illustrator, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this, how I do this mostly, and it works for me. So uh, I have all of these illustrations made and what we wanna do now, if I want to uh, oops, animate them in After Effects, I'm just going to get this out of here. If I want to animate this in After Effects, I need all separate layers, but now they're all in one layer. I always uh, illustrate everything in one layer and then I have an easy little tool to collapse everything into single layers. Because if I animate, if I import this into After Effects right now, it will all, all be like one layer. I can't uh, use the separate objects at all. So what I'm going to do is run by every object that I need to have in a separate layer. And I'm going to lock that object by pressing Command 2 on my keyboard. So first we have this background and um, I'm done with that. Um, so I'm gonna press Command 2. So now it's locked, so I know, all right, my background, it's done. I can put that in a uh, in its separate own layer later on. So we're done with that. We have these clouds, they are all grouped together in one group. So I'm gonna press Command Shift G or right click and go to ungroup. And now they're all separate and because I want to animate them like coming into the screen from the left and sliding into the right or something, uh, they don't need to be need to uh, be one group, they need to be separate. So now we have these separate clouds and I'm going to run by them, press Command 2 on all of them, select them all and press Command 2. So now we're also done with those clouds. Then, uh, let's see, I'll have this uh, shape of this floor here and that's a line, it's an outline. So it's not a fill, it is an outline and make sure if you have objects that are only lines, only have a, uh, a stroke in Illustrator that there is no fill because I can add a fill to this like maybe red or something and you won't see it in here because it's only an outline, only if I create a curve into this you can see there is a fill. But there is a fill um, on there, you just don't see it in Illustrator but when you animate this in After Effects you get this really really thin red line inside of it which we do not want so we're going to turn off our fill here like that and I'm gonna come on to lock that as well so now we're done with that as well then I have this little bush here and it is outlined with this blue stroke and a fill so I'm gonna press command 2 to lock it then I have my euro coin here this is one group but I, um, what I can do is if I open this up it consists of multiple elements we have this background this kind of um, shade this 3d thingy then we have the euro sign and we have these two circles in here so this the euro sign and these two circles i can um, keep them grouped because i don't want to uh, animate them separately this um, this euro needs to roll into the screen so the, it's no need to divide this up into separate layers so first i'm going to select this and i'm going to press command shift g like that and now we have uh, these separate layers i'm going to select the top three and then press command G again. So now this is one group and we have this shape behind it, which is a separate uh, layer later on. So if I'm, I'm going to roll this into the screen from the right to the left, uh, this if this uh, is grouped like this, then it will turn around upside down, which is not all right uh, because it needs to be on the right side all of the time for the 3D effect. So this will be a separate layer and we'll just uh, parent this to my uh, coin layer later on, uh, only to the rotate or to the position, not the rotation. All right. So I'm going to lock both of them, and we have these coins here uh, stacked on top of each other, and they have this little shadow in it. But the thing is, I can lock this one. Um, this, let's see, if this one falls into the screen later on, there shouldn't be any shadow over here because there's nothing on top of this. So if this is one group then this moves down with the shadow. We don't want that. So I'm going to gonna go in here, select this shape, press Command X, go out of here, out of the group again, and then press Command F to paste it in place. So now I have this coin and I have this shadow in a separate layer. I can put this back here. Um, so I'm going to lock this one, lock this one, and lock this one. I'm going to do the same thing with this, press Command X. And then I'm going to select. I'm going to select this coin, and then press Command F, so it pastes it, pastes it right on top of that coin in my layers panel later on. So I'm going to select both of them and um, lock them. And what I can also do is press Command Shift G to ungroup this. But then uh, these are all 
already um, also separate layers right now. And I have to select all of them individually and group them together. No, that's why I'm going inside here. Select this shape, press Command X. And if I press Command F right now, it pastes on top of all of my layers. So now it's on top of this euro sign. I don't want that. I'm going to press Command Z. I'm going to select this coin, what I did earlier here. And then I'm going to press Command F. So now it pastes it right on top of that coin. So behind this uh, coin in the front. So let's do the same thing here. All right, okay. And now I can lock all of these layers by pressing Command 2, selecting them all. So now they're all locked. And now if I press Command A on my keyboard to select everything, I can see I only have this tree selected. So now I know, all right, I'm done with everything except my tree. I only need to do that one. So this is also one layer. And um, sometimes I know uh, instantly how I'm going to animate this here in Illustrator already. So um, I, that's why I decide how, how, to, how I save these in separate layers. But sometimes, I don't know with this, with this tree, maybe this tree like grows from the bottom, grows up, and it, and it wiggles a little bit. I don't know that yet. But just to be sure, uh, because if I want to do that, if it's just one shape, I don't have to ungroup this and turn it into separate layers. This can just be one tree layer. But I don't know that right now. So what I'm going to do is open this up. And I'm going to, let's see, I have all these different shapes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to select this one and press Command Shift G. So now they're all separate little individual layers. And I can decide later on in After Effects what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to press Command 2. And now if I press Command A, nothing is selected here. So that, that means that I've gone through every little detail, every layer and object in my uh, illustration. So I know I'm done with you know, um, extracting everything. So I'm going to press Command Option 2 on my keyboard to unlock everything like that. So now everything's unlocked and they're all still in my layer number one. So here they all are, a lot of layers right now. So if I just select this layer and I'm going to go to this little icon here and if I select Release to Layers Sequence, what this will do is it will uh, put every object into its separate layer right here. So we here have layer two. If I select that, we have this little shadow here. We have this coin. We have the back side of the coin. We have this, we have this, all these different layers, but they're all contained inside layer one still. So what I'm going to do is select all of these layers that are inside layer one from the top, holding shift, clicking on the bottom one. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to drag them above layer one. So they're outside of layer one. So now they're all their actual separate layers. And I'm going to scroll down and back to layer one where all of these layers were in before, but there it's empty now. So I can delete that one. So now I have uh, all of these layers uh, in uh, all of these objects in separate layers and I can save it up now and I will go into After Effects and there I'll show you a little bit how I import my stuff. So I'm in After Effects here and if I, I've opened After Effects and I did not make a composition or anything yet, I'm just going to double click in my project panel to import my Illustrator file. And here is my Illustrator file. I'm going to leave this all on, uh, on footage here. Press open and then my import kind says composition or footage. And if I select footage, then it will all be merged into one layer or I can choose which separate layer I want to import. And uh, if I just click composition, it will open my whole composition with all these different layers. Footage dimensions, I always put on layer size because um, right now, if my shape is this big, if I put it on layer size here, then this uh, will the handles will be all the way around my layer here or my composition, sorry, uh, when I select document size, I'm sorry. But if I select layer size, like I'm going to do right now, and then everything will be just, just like this, like this small little um, selection box around it. So always choose layer size. And then what it does, it imports my uh, layers, all of them here, all my Illustrator files into this little folder. And what I all, always do is I'm going to put this in a new folder and call this artwork. So I'm going to put all my um, design files in that artwork folder. And this Illustrator design composition is got the same dimensions as my Illustrator file. So if I go to my artboard tool here, it's 1080 by 1080. So that means that this composition, if I double click it, I'm going to open it. And that will also be composition settings 1080 by 1080. So that's fine. Let's put this on fit. And um, yeah, now you can start animating. What I always do first time when I open something, I'm going to select everything and just hit this little uh, button here to make it all nice and crisp. So now I can scale this up because if I don't 
check on this button and I scale this up, it becomes blurry. And if I do click this on, then boom, the magic of math um, makes this look great again. So I'm going to stop it right there. That's how you import your uh, files into Illustrator and make sure to uh, mind all the details. What I said about this line that doesn't need to have a fill and all those little things. And um, yeah, if you want to see how I how I would animate in this little scene here, just a simple little thing, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments down below if you would like that. Um, and I'll maybe I'll do it next week or something or somewhere in a couple uh, next couple weeks. Um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already to the Camp Keyframe channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.